Hello, internet people. So today I'm talking about motivation. What can motivate a person? You know, you're motivating your children, motivating yourself, motivating, um, I don't know, employees, coworkers, customers, whatever. You know, think about how do you motivate a car? There are, I guess, three ways you can motivate a car. You can push it. <laughs> you can push it down the road. You can pull it. You can, you know, attach a, a chain or a rope or something and grab a few buddies and drag it down the road by pulling it. Or you can build and install an engine, fuel the engine, and then um, it can propel itself down the road. It can propel itself. You didn't see my gesture. My itself. So, how, what are we talking about? How does this apply to the humans? Well, we humans are, you know, kind of like that as well. You can push us. You know, you can nag people and push them to do what needs to get done by constantly giving outside pressure, pushing them forward, forcing them to do what you want. But as soon as you're not there, as soon as you look the other way, as soon as you know they've rolled down the hill, they're gonna stop. There's nothing pushing them forward, so there's, they've gotten used to that, you've trained them that the only way to go is for them to be pushed from the outside, so that's what they get used to doing. You know? in this car analogy, I guess. Or you can pull them. You know, you can... Um, well, it's kind of the same thing as pushing, except instead of um, constantly nagging them, constantly nagging yourself, or getting other people to nag you, you're... Um, oh, what would that be like? Well, I don't know. It's similar. <laughs> you can... You can that's a project for your own time. But, you know, a better, a better way to motivate people, obviously, would be to have them motivate themselves, to inspire them from within. You know, if you, if you reach the heart, if you reach the, the center of their inner motivations, that's like building the engine in a car. And you build the engine you have that ability inside the self in order to motivate yourself forward, to propel yourself forward to reach whatever goal you require, or whatever. Um, but, you know, an engine without fuel is completely worthless. So you still need to, to feed your mind and feed your heart and your whatever on positive stuff whatever it is, relative to what you're working on, to be able to power that motivation, to power that engine that pushes you forward. So, how does this apply to real world? You know, what lesson can we learn from this concept? Well, you know, if you're constantly needing to be pushed in order to get anything done, if you need somebody to wake you up every day, if you need somebody to tell you what you're working on and remind you of when and where and what you're supposed to be doing, well, you're not being motivated properly and you're going to fail at some point. You're going to stop moving forward at a certain point. But if you are being motivated or you're motivating others by reaching the heart, by um, doing it the right way by, you know, helping them to grasp the concept and to see how it fits into their lives and to be, you know, whatever. How to help other people, I don't know, whatever, motivates that person from their heart, whatever their whole deal is. That is also going to fail if it's not constantly fueled up. You're going to run out of gas. You're going to burn out and you're not going to be able to keep going. So if you want to keep going, what is, the, what is the success metric thing? What do you need to do? 
Well, you need to focus on your inner motivations. What is driving you forward? Are you being pulled from some outside source? Are you being pushed by somebody else? Some other force pushing you along minute by minute, day by day? Are you pushing other people? <laughs> Or are you focusing on that, that inner motivation? And if so, what fuels that? What kind of fuel do you need to keep putting in to power that engine, to power that motivation? It can be different for every project, for multiple projects. You know, you're working on something for you know, every aspect of yourself and what you're into, what you're up to every aspect of who you are and what you're up to can be like a different car with its own motivations, its own um, fuel that it needs, its own you know, outside forces pushing it in one way or pushing it, pulling it in another way. Oh, that's, that's another huge point is um, the power of the engine is so much more powerful than the outside forces. So if you're, so <clears throat> everybody, there's, there are outside forces pushing us and pulling us in every which way constantly in our lives. So, you know, normally, by default, I guess, not normal, but by default, if you don't do anything, you're going to be pushed in one direction or another by um, family, friends, employers, whatever. Um, and if you don't focus on your own inner motivations, you're just going to be just like, you know, a push cart that's being pushed one way or the other. But if you focus on your own motivations, your own engine, and you fuel it properly, then you can withstand all the outside pressure. You have your own inner force that can push against those who are pulling you or pull against those who are pushing you and overpower them. And once they see that you are powered on your own and you are moving forward, they're going to want to keep up with you. They're going to want to follow you. Um, and that's good, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I forget where I was going with that. But, you know. I guess, uh, don't just be pushed and pulled willy-nilly. Uh, be awesome instead. <laughs> See you later!